All right, hey guys, we're back. Hole number three here. Now, what I recommend for you guys on this hole is uh, maybe the Guardian. Um, I like to use about... Actually, you know what? This is from the short tee, so... I'm thinking backbone here. We'll see. So we'll bring both of these here. And uh, the way that I typically try to do this is I try to run it out with a little bit of backspin. And you can see my back, backbone is a, what was it, a 7? It's a 75 accuracy. So we'll use that as 1.5 per ring as our ring adjustment. And I don't think we'll need a wood, but we might. And this is also 1.7 per ring at 66 accuracy. So, um, you know, 1.5, 1.7. And we'll just kind of go from there. We won't need really a power ball or anything fancy here. We'll just work on... Um, I, I, have, I have not played this in quite some time. On, um, on the rookie tees. So I, I do have a landing zone in mind. But uh, and here you can see that uh, you know distance, not really a big deal. And the way that I typically tend to do this is kind of maybe with just a touch of backspin, kind of like this, and just kind of use this slope a little bit. So you can see what I'm doing with my ball guide, how I'm just letting it kind of kick off this hill towards the hole here. And aside from that, you know, I go very close to the one per ring, 1.5 per ring I was mentioning. So here you're going to see me almost go three rings, maybe just a hair less. And you can see kind of where I set up. And then I just center in the shot circle. There you can see I get my perfect ball. And let's just see how this rolls out. So far so good, so far so good, and it just breaks. So you can see more or less the proper way to play this. Um, give yourself a really good chance to make it. Just kind of feed it. And uh, you know, that's the key is just using just a touch of backspin, not very much, and just using that ball guide. You just need those first three hops and then you just kind of set them up accordingly to what you just saw me do. Kind of how I have it, you know, aiming back at the hole. And then aside from that, it's just about, you know, doing a solid ring play. Uh, and it'll give you a good chance. Um, you know, definitely try to do more of a precision shot as opposed to, you know, like an overpower shot like this. But let's see how this turns out. Hopefully it stays on, well, just off the back. So, um, you know, hopefully you have a good strategy as to being able to manipulate this hole with a long iron. Um, I do highly recommend uh, the strategy that I just gave you guys and just kind of using those three hops as kind of your guide to get it going towards the hole. And I think, you know, overall you guys will have good success and very consistent results. You'll never wind up in the bunker um, it just kind of, you know, the worst case scenario, uh, you might just take one ba bad bounce every, you know, maybe 10, 15 times you do it uh, to where it'll, for instance, you know, maybe just stop on the fringe as opposed to releasing the way it's attention, uh, as the way it's intended to do. So, but aside from that, you know, um, if you guys do need your, uh, you know, ring charts or anything, um, the Golf Clash Notebook will be a uh, great resource for you guys um, to get those uh, ring sheets printed off just in case, you know, you don't have a similar backspin that matches up to mine. Um, I do recommend the backbone just because it's so accurate. So you don't want to bring something like Goliath, for example, uh, you know, a, a low accuracy club to a precision type hole out holdable type par three so just something to, for you guys to think about um, when you guys are working through these and here you can see my opponent right around nine yards so we'll see if we can't come inside that um, with guardian that's one of the reasons that you see me have guardian as kind of my default is it makes getting you know close on this one very easy for the most part all i need to do is kind of play it like here use the 1.7 per ring that I was mentioning 
And, uh, you know, this fairway is a little bit hilly. It can be a kind of a pain. i um, not going to lie to you about that. But, uh, you know, for the most part, you know, coming inside of, uh, you know, consistently inside five yards, Guardian's going to give you a very good chance to do that um, every time. So it's a very good rookie level club. You can see one of the ways that I manipulate it is I just up the backspin to since I have a limited ball guide I just up my backspin and then just kind of play it as a low run out shot to where it'll only run out a few yards and you can see setting it up like that gives you a perfect opportunity to hit it in there close every time you have it in your bag so in the earlier tours when I'm progressing up through the tours that's what you'll see me bring because I can just hit that high backspin you know five to six bars and then just hit more of a stop shot to where it just runs out a couple yards like you just saw there. So good luck there anyway, guys, and uh, catch you guys for hole four coming up.